right, so it looks like Keanu Rush, she is an influence on OnlyFans, had exposed Kaysenet, stating that he had paid her to have intercourse with her. Now, Kaysenet did see the post that she had, I guess, was posing around all over social media. Then he had went live on Twitch and stated that he never paid her no $5,000 for her to have intimacy with him but in fact he did show the receipt that he did pay a lift for her to, i guess to get back home but he had more things to say about this whole situation so we're gonna go right now and jump to it First, this is my phone here we go here we go screen record as you guys can see thank you apple for the wallet let's go to um transactions of 2023 um let's go to hmm, let me see october for me please Okay, as you can see, these are my good friends. Um, there's an Escalade in there that my, my dudes get 2000 whenever whenever she wants, she get whatever she want. Okay? Nothing there. She saved as Layla Red in my phone. On oh, God. You're saved as Layla Red in my phone. Kiara Rush. I'm on you now. Kiara Rush. We, don't, we call you KR now. All right? Go to November. Stop. Stop. Flyer artist. Flyer artist. on a person who, okay, which you signed, Kiara Rush. You signed that, Kiara Rush. You did. You did. And it protects me from everything that we've ever talked about or ever, ever talked about. It's cool, though, because you, you you let out, right? And lie, by the way. You're a liar. But while I was sleeping, bought a naked, decided to just post me online. Okay? Now, what do you call that, ladies and gentlemen? Revenge porn. Now, those who don't know what revenge porn... Okay, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She, didn't, she, she blocked this shit, okay? Okay? For those who don't know what revenge porn is, revealing or sexually explicit image or videos of a person posted on the internet. So right after Kanye Sinet exposed Kiana Rush, she decided to go onto her live and decided to respond back to Kanye Sinet, stating that she did have more proof of him paying her to have intercourse. Now she did have more things to say about this whole situation. So right now we're gonna go and jump to it. Everybody keep asking me about all the dates, all the dates. See, he's not showing y'all shit from this year. I showed y'all last year and this year. He's just showing y'all last year and he's showing from another iCloud. See, that's how dumb people is. It's a whole nother iCloud, shorty. I'm showing proof from our most recent leak up, which was three weeks ago, where he paid me to delete anything that I had on him. Which was the agreement. And I was cool with that. It was no problem. He already knew anything I had. It was just like, it was up the air. You gotta understand, like, I'm in the industry. Everything I get is insurance. Here, point blank. I don't know y'all. I don't give a fuck. I always protect myself at the end of the day. So, yes, I did collect insurance. You damn right. Just like he did when he recorded my voice. And I didn't give a fuck. I still don't give a fuck. But to act like you did fuck, pay me, fuck, now you got me. Fuck, and now I gotta expose you. Hey, bruh. I have the proof. I am about to post the transaction ID for the payment that you just recently made to me to shut me the f And I'm going to post the message where you say you're going to pay me the rest of my money and you did it. Stop acting like you don't know why I'm doing this right now. Everything was cool until you didn't want to pay me my money, my hush money. And that's when it became a fucking problem. You made this a problem. I don't give a f by the domain, you could do this, you could do Here's the screen recording for you guys. Up, down. Message. Oop. Didn't have to lie. Don't let him cap y'all. 
All right, guys, so leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this whole situation that's going on with Carson. And now we're going to go and jump into this next tea. And apparently Leslie had went back with CJ So Cool after she was ranting and crying on her video, saying that she was not going to go back with him after he had, um, I guess, sent some inappropriate messages to her friend and also stated to Royalty that he did not have a girlfriend. Now, he did a TikTok video with Kamari and also with Leslie. So here is the video and let's take a look. Maybe Leslie had went back after CJ So Cool probably bought her some expensive gift. Because, you know, in the video, she stated that when CJ does things wrong to get her upset, he goes out his way and buy her expensive gift. I'd be damned if I go back with a man that constantly say that I'm not in a relationship with him and also send my friend an inappropriate um, message. Now, people was in a comment and they was thinking the same thing, like why she decided to go back with this man. They were saying wait did i miss a whole chapter i thought leslie and cj so cool broke up but another person goes on and says so leslie did all that for what leslie ain't standing on business which i completely understand on that part because she said one thing and then goes back and say another thing now another person goes on and said cj is packing that's why they always run back so another person goes on and said leslie be embarrassing herself for real leslie is giving chris sean and then another person saying i thought she had left now, more people was in the comments and they was kind of, you know, wondering why she decided to go back with him. But like we all know, money talk and bullshit walk. Another person had going on saying, I thought she was leaving you. What is the cook doing here? Leslie, have you learned nothing? So guys, leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about the situation of CJ So Cool and Leslie are back together. And I'll see you next time with another brand new video. Bye.